Welcome back, ladies and gents. Happy Monday, or something of the sort. No one really likes Mondays. Hope you guys had a good weekend, a productive one, fun one. Hopefully did something fun in the world we live in now. Yeah. Even if it was little. Hopefully you did something. But, we are now starting yet another episode of the Jesse Rosinski Show. And anyone that listened last week remembers... That I said, a little old Governor Cuomo, I didn't know when it was going to happen, but I knew and guaranteed someone else was going to come out. And I'm pretty sure from what I heard, it was two people, Yeah, reported more sexual harassment claims from yeah, Andrew Cuomo. Apparently... You know, he's just one of those beautiful, scummy human beings. Remember all those people kept, you know, saying he was the gold standard and he was the best thing that ever happened and he should run for president for Democrats or people are saying it. They were homosexual because everyone wanted to date him. And it turns out he is just a ripe old scumbag. I was right. It's not nice to take a victory lap, but I knew it. <clears throat> He's kind of a scumbag. I thought he was a scumbag. It's amazing how all the people on the left were praising him the whole time. While he was, you know, legit having his top aides withhold numbers of, you know, nursing home deaths ahead of his book sales. So, you know, he could, you know, publish his book and make money on how good he handled the COVID pandemic. Yeah. How did that one work out? Oh, wait, terribly. Because he's a scumbag and he was doing everything wrong in the Bidens and the Kamalas and Nancy, Chuck Schumer, AOC, all these people. Predominantly, you know, big ones on the left. We're all talking about how good Andrew Cuomo did and how big of a scumbag Donald Trump was and how bad he handled it. Well, now we find out that, well... Governor Cuomo did a terrible job. Not only did he do a terrible job, he lied about it. Now, considering the people, you know, running the country, you know, both in the White House, the House, the Senate, all of them are praising him, you know, it's amazing how they really don't even talk about that. They're all in the sexual harassment thing, and never mind, you know, the deaths. And, oh, they, I mean, they really just, we need to look into it. Yeah, these accusations are credible. You know, no one's really coming out, coming out. I mean, remember, yeah, Judge Kavanaugh, Supreme Court Justice Kavanaugh, no? I mean, I remember how that went. That guy was getting roasted like a pig. He was getting hammered all day, every day, forever. Getting called everything under the book, and guess what? It turns out the lady didn't even remember, no, it was any of that. Known to be malarkey. And you know, all those people that are raising hell, I mean, they barely mentioned anything. I mean, through what he did at the nursing homes, all the way to sexual harassment. I mean, he, like, compared to where they were, and every, like Donald Trump, Kavanaugh, anything, anyone on the right, like they were blowing people up like hellfire brimstone. If it happens to one of their own, crickets. Pretty much. Oh, well, and there'll be people like Drew out there. Oh, they said something. Yeah, something. Go back and watch what they said about Kavanaugh or Trump or anyone on the right. And then look what they've said about this. I mean, if you can't tell the difference in the hypocrisy and the different level of how they treat it, depending on which side it's coming from, then you are one, blind, two, dumb. And three, just absolutely ignorant to everything, and there's nothing we can do to help you. That's something you're going to have to fix yourself. But night and day, complete difference, totally scummy. Really grinds my gears and makes me absolutely nuts. You know, that should drive all of you nuts. You should not get away with literally lying to Fed, literal, like, to the Fed about anything, especially numbers of deaths in nursing homes like you should not. Get away with that. I wouldn't get away with it. I wouldn't still be running the damn 
the state of New York, you best believe anyone on the right wouldn't be. They'd been ran up the flagpole and kicked out of there immediately. Gone. Done. Bye. See you later. Hit the road, Jack. They would have done it like the second anything came out. They would have been run to impeachment, throw him, you know, him out. Yet here we are, this many women now. And he's still in charge and he keeps saying he won't resign. Like, it is just unfathomable the level of garbage you let people on, you know, like the people on the left let their own people get away with. And then idiots keep voting for them because they don't notice it. They just listen to everything that the left says, that everyone on the right is a bunch of white supremacist, Klansmen, uneducated, Bible-thumping, gun-toting, jagaloons. They can't think for themselves and are full of all this hate and rage, but... Like, do a serious look in the mirror. Look at all the stuff and it goes, you know, both ways. It's mesmerizing, actually. Mesmerizing. The contrast between the two sides of everything. The stuff that comes out of their side, the one that comes out of the other side. And then, you know, listen to them. Don't listen to, like, excerpts like people always do that are edited. Listen to the whole thing. The whole speech is everything they say. Like, just tweets and everything. Like, it is drastically different between sides. Drastically. Horrifically. But hell, what do I know? You people just keep telling me I'm a crazy conspiracy theorist and I'm out of my mind. And that Trump is a bad guy and Cuomo's great and everyone on Biden's great and all like it. Well, look where the hell we are now. But, moral of the story, Cuomo's a scumbag and it's disgusting that there's, what, really no media coverage, literally none. Um, and he still has his job because you know it wouldn't be the same if it was on the right. Which, it's just pathetic, and people just let that keep happening, where it's two side, you know. One side can do whatever they want, and the other one's just, well, they breathe and they're wrong, but... Let's move on to other fun things, like the Affordable Care Act. I know if I'm seeing commercials in the little bit of TV that I watch, which is wrestling and NASCAR. And I watch The Five, because I like hearing the dumb stuff that comes out of Juan's mouth. When I say I like it, I like hearing people's rebuttals, and I like yelling at them, because I, you know, 99% of the time I'm alone, I don't get to talk to people. So, I get to yell at Juan, at least I get to yell at something, you know. It's always fun to get to yell at something. I don't get to do it very often. I miss it sometimes. Not all the time, but, you know, there are times where you're all, man, I just want to yell at something. I want to talk to someone, yell at someone, any of that. But, you know, so I watch that. But all the commercials for the Affordable Care Act being back. It's amazing, isn't it? It's back. And you love seeing how well you'll pay this much. You could save all this money and pay this much. With financial assistance you'll get from us. You know what that financial assistance is? The extra tax dollars that they're going to charge, you know people, to include, you know, the people getting the Affordable Care Act, you know, if they could save any money at all, because the first time it got rolled out, I mean, I physically know people that they wanted more a month than they made even with assistance, and they wanted more than they made a year for a deductible, and I think overall average across the country, prices went up 108%, please fact check me, tell me I'm an idiot, but I'm pretty sure it's right around 108%, um, it went up. And that, like, and it's all that, well, but with financial assistance, yeah, which is everyone else's taxpayer dollars paying for you to have, you know, to lower the cost of health care with you. So we're going to tax the hell out of everybody so that everyone can have this, you know, the Affordable Care Act to help them pay for it. And if they go for Medicare for all, so, you know, everyone pays in and then everyone can have it. But... What does that do for the millions of people that don't work and can't work? Which means the people that are working are going to be end up paying more for all those people that aren't working and physically can't, so they're not paying into the system, if you catch my drift. Yeah, but I see the commercial all the damn time. It was really nice not seeing it. Um, especially, again, with just how bad it went the first time, which, you know, websites crashing and prices going up and... You know, it was just bad all around. A million pages, it seemed, of just regulations and dumb stuff. Some states only had one plan, so it didn't matter. Some people, what they wanted them to pay more than they did. They Then they made a month and more than they made a year for a deductible. 
you know, I mean, it's just bad all across the board. And, you know, they could make the price whatever they want if there's only one thing in, you know, the state. You know, there's no competition, which is why prices go down in the open market because, you know, there's more competition, which, you know, makes it so, you know, you want to give the people the best for the best price. So you're still making money when there's only one. Well, there's no one to stop them from being ridiculous because it's take it or leave it, especially as you couldn't buy, you know, across state lines with the old one. If you only had one in your state, too bad. You only got to choose from, you only got that one. Which, again, is dumb and terrible and garbage and abysmal. I mean, it was it was a flat-out joke the first time. And, I mean, they put nice fancy commercials on it this time around. And they're putting money into, you know, making commercials and all that, obviously. But, like... I re like all you most of you people have just voted this past time like yeah I get it like most of you didn't care because you were still out the vote form are still out like you know still in high school still out you know going to bars and getting hammered one night stands all the time like you didn't care like it didn't affect you you didn't have it like I know people that did like there were times I was getting treated better at the VA and I wasn't even paying for it. Which, in itself, should scare the bejesus out of any human being. But, I, I love when you see it. I look, you could, you'll be paying only this much with financial assistance. Which is another way to say they're going to take more taxpayer dollars to help pay for that for other people to get, you know, insurance. To pay for other people. So they're paying more out of taxpayer dollars than the actual person is, even though they're paying taxpayer dollars into it all. Like, yeah, it doesn't actually make sense if you sit down and think about it. At least not to me. Uh, but again, most people have voted like they weren't affected by it. They didn't know anyone affected by it. They didn't, you know. So they didn't look into all the stuff from across the states. They said, okay, here we go, bye. And then that whole thing, not, if you couldn't afford it, they, you know, to a certain extent, if you didn't get it, they fined you, like in your taxes, like for not having health insurance. Well, I get it. Everyone should have the right to health care, but um, if people don't want it, well, you shouldn't find them for not having it. Just saying. Call me a crazy person. Call me whatever you want. Finding people for not buying your health care. Which I'm pretty sure that, actually, like, that was part that got thrown out. It was unconstitutional to do that at last I checked. Yeah, they're still arguing about that. Um... But fining people for not getting health care. Unless you didn't make enough, then you didn't even rate to get fined. Which is even, like, makes you feel so much better about yourself that you can actually make so little money and be so broke that the government doesn't even want to waste their time taking more money from you. Like, when the government goes, ah, they don't make enough for us to shaft them any farther. Like, you know you're at rock bottom. You're in the pits right there if the government does not want to take your money. Because there's one thing that the government is really good at, especially now with the new administration. I say all the stuff they're trying to do. Cause, yeah, I actually read everything. Between gas tax hikes and all the like, and all the other taxes, like we're all screwed. They love taking money. And there was actually a thing where you didn't make enough for them to do it, which is just awesome. See a smile on my face? That's a real smile. Like you're too broke to get fined. Well, awesome. Makes me feel. Pat myself on the back for that one. That makes me feel real good about me. But hey, at least it's back, right? Sooner or later, it'll all work out the same way it did the first time. Mark my words and quote me on that one. And in closing, now that I was done smiling, now I'm going to go into the angry mode when it comes to eBay. I mean, I want to say worse, but what the hell? Like, it seems appropriate that eBay removed those six Dr. Seuss books that, you know, are all offensive and hurting everyone's feelings and blah, blah, blah. All that nonsense. Because, you know, people are pussies and, like, we have made, like, the weakest generation of people anywhere ever right now that are doing all this, like, WAP is Song of the Year. But Dr. Seuss is offending those same people. Like, they're soft, they're pussies, and they're dumb. Like, dumb, dumb. Like, I had more intelligence in my answers after I got ran over. My head was, like, knocked to hell. 
I was still responding more intelligently with better facts than these people can even fathom or have thoughts of with right now. Like, it's absolutely abysmal. Those six books got removed from eBay because they were against their, you know, standards and all that, which, you know, they have a company. You know, they're a company. They're allowed to do that. I think it's stupid, and it's censorship, and it's all that. And people should just get over themselves. It's been around for how long? Being read to everyone just by Michelle Obama, I think, in 2016. And now suddenly it's the worst thing ever. Why? Because we just keep giving these idiots whatever they want. But anyway... They removed those books because they're against their standards, but Mein Kampf and the Anarchist Cookbook are still allowed to be sold on there. Like the Anarchist Cookbook, where they teach people to make, like, you know, pipe bombs, IDs, like, all these things. That's not a bad thing. But Dr. Seuss books are. Like, I'm not trying to, like... Uh, screw it. I'm trying to hurt people's feelings. Like, how stupid are you? Like, how ass-backwards is it that the anarchist cookbook is okay teaching people to do all those things? And, you know, we've seen a lot of bad people, you know, get their hands on and do lots of bad things throughout history since it's come out. But Dr. Seuss asked those six books have to be re removed for racist images and offending people like people have died because of one book people need to get over themselves for the other you know like death you know people dying because it way up here there are my feelings way down here i just wanted to make sure my hands were still in you know camera so you know, like you shouldn't even see that one on the bottom and one's way up here and the other one's down underneath my feet like through the foundation of the house like, if that isn't a sign that there's just a bunch of dumbasses running everything right now and pulling the strings, I don't know what is. But Anarchist Cookbook is okay. And Dr. Seuss books are. Like, see how many, like, racist people have made things from the Anarchist Cookbook and figured out how to do all these things and probably done really bad things to people with it? Guarantee you that number is way higher than violence or anything that was caused by Dr. Seuss. Just saying, just throwing it out there. I could be out of my mind, but at least I'm not like in the generation of just people that are absolute waste of space that are doing all this right now. And if you're one of those people... You're a waste of space. I just thought you should know that. Where WAP, Anarchist Cookbook, WAP, WAP, whatever, whatever. We all know the Cardi B song. However the hell you pronounce it, WAP. Uh, I've heard everyone do it both ways. I don't care. Like, that's okay. Teen Mom, okay. 16 and Pregnant, great. All these, like, skankadank reality shows, good. Six Dr. Seuss books are offensive. Like, how the hell did the generation that was legit raised on, like, South Park, Family Guy, Simpsons, Bob's Burgers, like, Animation, Domination, all of them. Everything on all the channels, daily, you know, the, 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 the Cartoon Network, the Adult Swim, I think that's it, yeah. And these people are offended by everything that they shouldn't be offended by, but they're okay with all that. So, I don't know. All that, I think eBay is a bunch of sellouts. And they made a very poor choice because one encourages people to kill people. The other is a children's book that's been around for decades. Like, take a stand and stop giving these pussies and these idiots and these people that don't actually have an intelligent thought inside of their head everything they want. And now that I'm done being a jerk, I want to thank y'all. Appreciate y'all for checking it out. Like, comment, share, follow me everywhere. Tell people about it. Get the word out. More viewers, better it is for all of us. The more topics we can hit, you people can tell me what you want me to yeah, talk about. You can tell me what you think. And I'll start the email for it. So you can email me if that's what's holding you up. I don't know why no one's ever telling me anything. But, that being said, i got some big news that I think only one person actually physically knows is happening. It's coming. It's happening. And it happens. I'll let you know and I'll be giddy as can be. So enjoy the rest of your day, have some conversations, be good to one another, read something, educate yourself, stop being such idiots.
Not you normal people, the people on the other side that are actual just full-fledged idiots. And until tomorrow, my friends, peace.